Hey guys, Paduna279 here. Uh, just gonna do a second video in a row just for the hell of it. I'm just gonna show you guys real quick the uh, Blackbird Mamout. Uh, I don't know if I pronounced it right, but I'll put it in the description for the full name. Uh, hand pump. So, uh, you know, this is a basic hand pump that you get for uh, just putting air in your bike. So, I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit, show you guys. How I did the setup, so you just take it out like that, you get your little two clips, just unclip it like that, so you just take it out, boom. So let me show you guys the pump itself. So uh this is the pump. Uh you guys want to see the name Blackburn. Whoops, I gotta find a viewfinder. So Blackburn, uh try to zoom in for you guys. So yeah, Mamout uh any vowel, so oh yeah, here you go. Focus in time. Yeah, I thought this camera would focus a whole lot better. I think it's because I got the uh, uh, I got the brightness filter on. I got yeah something to make it a little bit more vivid. So the vivid filter, so that that's why I think it's got a hard time focusing or the lighting too might affect it. So um, Blackbird memo any vowel. So uh, basically, this is the pump. You just you know get your protective cover uh, I'm gonna try to show you guys the inside here so you guys can see so it's got a system where for press the valve and the uh, schrader it just adapts automatically so it's not a bad system but I don't like this type of pump uh, simply because first of all I thought pump technology would have come such a long way but new it didn't so you just take out the handle like that so Ooh, grit, gritty, so. Alright. So you just pump it up like that, so. You're gonna have to clean it up a little bit. I got a little bit of dust in there, so I'm gonna have to clean that pump up. Especially if I wanna resell this shit. I hope I can get a good price for it. I think I paid 14 bucks for this, so. Not so bad. But, um. Let me show you guys how it works. So uh, basically, you just put your, uh, your, you know, pump in the valve. And just raise it up here just to lock it down. So I'm gonna give you guys a little demonstration of that real quick. Hopefully you guys are gonna be able to see. I'm just gonna move you guys over here. Whoop, going down there. I think I'll back up a little bit more so you guys can see, or maybe I should zoom in just a tad bit. Alright, so let's zoom in just a hair. Put it like that so you guys get a good view. I like that should be whoops. Yeah, I'm readjusting the camera. I'm not doing any production, so I don't want to do any editing. So let's see. Let's take off the cap on that little press the valve. I wish you had Schrader's. Schrader is so much easier. So let's unscrew that. So let's see. Let's put that in there. Click. Let's find the hole. Put that in. And just flip it. Whoops. All right, so that's not working. So like that. All right, now it's got a good seal. So now you just. All right, so maybe it doesn't have a good seal, man. I'm gonna have to repump this tire. Oh, uh, with a regular <laughs> my compressor. So come on, just find the fucking hole already. Here you go. Anyway, well actually, no. Uh, you have a good seal now? Anyway, I don't want to mess up with this. <laughs> I'm going to have to watch the tire pressure. So yeah, the in-valve system is just a little bit annoying. So uh, in the beginning, it worked great. For some reason, it doesn't want to work right now. Probably doing something wrong because I'm a novice at this shit. But when I get my CO2 adapter from, again, Blackburn, <laughs> Don't ask me why I buy this brand, it's just, yeah, I got some good prices on this, so don't ask me why. <laughs> I get everything Blackburn. <laughs> but anyways, so, alright, let's try it one more time. You... Oh, come on, I'll just try to fucking adjust this shit right here, so. Alright, so here we go. The second try. Come on, find that fucking hole. Already, what the fuck? Come 
Alright, let's see. Alright, so that, that's not working obviously, so... Um, yeah, basically... <laughs> for a hand pump, I, of course I'm doing something wrong, it's not the pump's fault. Uh, the blackbird in my mouth. Uh, any valve, so... Focus. So basically that's what you have to do, but what I don't like about that system is that the pump itself is directly on the valve, so... Every time you're pumping, you're putting pressure on the valve back and... Better close that thing down so it doesn't leak anymore. Dude, that, that pressure is gonna go. That's not so bad. Just gonna have to find something so I can pump it up. I got my compressor, but that's in a car, so it's gonna have to be tomorrow morning. I don't wanna mess around with that tonight. Really gotta have another option for pumping. You know, I gotta have CO2, but CO2 is just something that you use once uh, just to if you really got some low pressure and you just want to put back some pressure in there so uh but uh that that hand pump is just something personally i don't like the fact that you put in there and just you start pumping so this is for me something that just you, you have to really hold it in place and just pump and it's just tiresome so just for references when i it worked good at the beginning um, let me close it. Uh, just for references, when it worked good at the beginning, uh, for let's say putting up, this is a 650B wheel, so uh, 27 and a half. Um, when I first got the pump, uh, to pump it up and get myself some air in a tire, uh, about 10 pumps equals to about maybe 1 or 2 psi. So you can imagine filling this thing up to 40 psi. You're gonna be pumping all day long. So, uh, basically, for a hand pump, I would go maybe with something more towards the line of um, a small, uh, small hose that comes out. So you, you're not putting too much pressure directly on the valve with the, the small hose coming out. So you could just pump, and uh, that uh, that uh, valve doesn't have any pressure on it. So uh, this is something I would. Me personally, I wouldn't recommend this. And the volume of air coming out of that, and the fact that the pressure when you're putting up to 40, uh, when you're about to uh, let's say 20 psi and you start pumping hard, you're gonna have to push. I thought pump technology would have evolved over the years, but nope. Uh, it says, uh, let me show you guys the back of the pump just to show you guys everything that it says in here. So I'll let it focus. Focus, focus, come on. Be nice, camera. Let focus. You can do it. There you go. So, fits all valves. You get an adapter for another type of valves there. Uh, volume, so 81. Uh, C, CM3, uh, so cubic, cubic centimeter vo uh, volume. So, uh, whatever. So, uh, it says on the top here, if it can focus again. I'm gonna put my hand in the background. So uh, 90 psi, six bars. Uh, pff, th that thing is just giving me some headaches. So I'm not. This is not even going back on my back tonight. So I'm gonna just put down a side, clean it up, and maybe try to resell it for like 10 bucks. Even though I paid 14 dollars for it, and this thing's worth in the store about not 30 dollars. So maybe I'll try to sell it for 15 bucks. Maybe I can get a good good deal and get somebody to buy it for that price. Anyways, um, so guys, this is the uh, Blackburn um, Mamout Any Valve. Hope I'm saying that right, but I'll put it in the description so you guys can. Whoops, right there. There you are. So I could show you guys the packaging, but you guys probably don't want to know at that point uh, what comes in and the setup on the on the actual bike itself is just that little uh, adapter that comes with the uh, the pump. So that's good. You get an, another small adapter there for another type of valve, but you know it's holding up securely in place. It's it's not a problem. Uh, the the uh, you know the setup itself it's not a problem. It's just the uh, it's just a pump. I mean it, it's not for me personally. Uh, for what I needed to do is just something that once in a while you're gonna need to put some air. So uh, this is the Blackburn Mamau. I'm probably going to give it a bad score. So I'm sorry guys. It's probably going to be a 3 out of 10. So 
All right, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you get if you get some good luck with the pump, good for you. If you like it, uh, just let me know in the comment. Uh, for Presta valve though, this thing is horrible. So uh, personally, I can't wait to get my CO2 adapter, which I paid 12 bucks for it without any cartridges. So probably try one or two types of CO2 adapter, just different brands, just to mix it up. And maybe another hand pump like that, but I'm gonna try to get something really small, like a mini, mini, mini hand pump uh, with a wire with a hose coming out of it. So, so you can get something just as a backup to the CO2 so if you're really in bad in bad shape. So, and you need to just fill it back up, and you don't have any more CO2. So, anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit long, 11 minutes, but I uh, hope it's worth it, and hope you guys enjoy my little. Uh, you know, messing up on the tire, so, <laughs> anyways, hope you guys enjoy, and see you guys on the next one.